Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one last tutorial on Click, we learn about how to work with prompts, right? So let's see how to work with prompt. It's going to be import click, and I'm just going to put my function call main, and this function is going to echo something. So click dot echo whatever button I want to echo there. I'm just going to give it my click name. Perfect. So let's see how to work with prompt. So as you already know, prompt is just going to prompt something out to give you the option of entering your input. Right, just like the raw input or the input in Python. Now let's see how to do that. So just going to create my click dot command to receive all my arguments. I'm going to pass. I'm going to create my first option after. And this is going to be of a particular. So there are three methods of working with prompts here. So first method is going to go with by defining the prompt in your option. So name, and I'm going to set my prompt to true. So if I set my prompt true here, it's automatically going to de determine and, and detect that this particular option here is going to be a prompt option. So if I save it and I come back to here, let's pass in the name, right? So I'm passing my name here. Let's use a string for this. So F, so your name is Right, perfect. So if I run this particular stuff here, and I come back to my Python dot custom CLI, if I run straight away, it's going to bring a prompt. So that is bringing a prompt, and then by default, it's going to pick this particular name and then convert it to cap capital keys to give you as your prompt name, right? So it's going to be let's say Jesse. So your name is Jesse. Perfect. So that is one of the first method of working with it. So that is one option. Another option is that instead of you setting this one as true. You can also use the same stuff in case you want your own custom stuff. Then you set the name to enter your name, right? If I go with this and now I save it here, so that when I run this straight away, it's going to tell me enter your name, right? Bring in the prompt here straight away. So enter your name with double double star. So that means that you don't need to even bring this one. It's automatically going to detect and then bring it. So enter your name. Then let's say Jess. Your name is just which is quite interesting so that's one of the ways of, of working with it as you already know it's going to prompt it for us but you can also because it's optional you can actually bring the option there name and then supply the start straight away with the equal to so it's going to be like john your name is john if you don't supply the option and just go with john it's still going to work right so that is one of the ways it's not going to give you the prompt it's going to go straight away and pick it by default so that is one interesting thing about this but in case you don't supply the argument it's automatically going to give you the prompt so that is one thing about it that is the first method or the second method now let's check the third method of working with it so the third method is so if you call in prompts here you you're not being, going to be calling prompts here but rather you're going to be calling prompts inside our main function so how do we do that so it's going to be like this i just go to click dot prompt right click dot prompt then I'm going to paste in the text that I want to I wanted to prompt prompt out. So let's say the same thing as enter your first name. Perfect. I'm going to store this one in some way. So let's store it as H. Let's store it as let's say F name. It's going to be something like this, right? Perfect. So this in this option now I'm, I'm going to pass in my F name there. Perfect, right? So my F name. So your name is this. So let's save it and see how it's going to do. So this is the second method. So if I run this particular stuff, so that it's bringing, although I've given a supplied name here, it is seeing this one as different, and then it's seeing this one as also different. So it's seeing this one as a different argument, and then it's seeing this one also as another different argument. So, so let's give it as something like let's say, oh. Your name is Paul, right? So it's applying the F name now. It's overriding this, so I can actually make it double. So your name is this, and then your 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 name is this particular stuff, and your first name is this, right? So if I do this particular stuff and I run it now, so it's going to prompt me, and I'm going to Paul. Then your name is John and your first name is Paul, which is very interesting. So that is a third method of working with. So either you can declare 
your prompt at the top here by setting it as prompt is equal to true or you can set this value that you want to put here here or you can just bring it here so these are the several measures you can work with for this particular package with click okay perfect so that is one way of working with it now let's add some more functions to it right to make it more interesting so instead of giving it as an option it's of this particular stuff let's add some more interesting stuff to it so i'm just going to set this one to be true oh yep yeah. let's take this one out let's create another one let's add the password to it right we're going to add a password to it it's going to be this so this is going to be our password option so it's going to be password so if i go with password straight away it's also going to work in the same way as that but since it's a password, we need to be able to make sure that the person doesn't, doesn't see it. So your name is this, uh, your name is this, your first name is this, and then your password is this, right? It's going to give us a password. So if I run it, if I save this particular stuff, and I come back to here. I supply the name here, and the password, which is going to be pass. Where is let's say one two three four five six right that is the most common password if i run there it's going to tell me that enter your first name so call so that it is showing me my password just like that but i don't want this thing to happen i want to hide this particular password so how do i do that i can actually set it as this so hide input is going to be true so if i set hide input is equal to true and i come back to this particular option and instead of making it like this let's change it right so that we don't even need to type it here at all so let's even let's bring the prompt here let's set the prompt to this casper prompt prompt go to true right perfect so that we don't need to even bring that here. so if i go back to this place and i run this Right, so it's, it's telling me my password, right? So the password is whatever I'm going to add there. My first name, let's give it as Mark. So we see that it was able to print it out. I did not see the input, but it's able to bring this particular password in. So you can actually encrypt it if you want. So that's one of the ways of working with it in this particular for this particular package which prompt, right? So that's one of the ways. In case you want to reconfirm again, like maybe repeat it again you can also bring the repeat option here by setting it as confirm information prompt is going to true so that it's going to repeat it again right so after entering it it's going to still repeat it again so now let's see how it's going to be so if i run john enter your password one two three four five repeat for confirmation which is very interesting so i can do that one two three four five Six. Oh, see that it was able to tell that the first one was wrong and the second one is wrong. The first, the second option was wrong. So if I go with one, two, three, four, five, six, it's giving us the same thing to continue to the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, that's how it is. So it's very interesting and very intriguing. So let's run it again. Think about it. Let's start over. So I'm going to run a name, a password. So let's give it as. And name one two three four perfect one two three four perfect right so now i can give me the option of supplying my name so let's see that's Nathan. perfect right so it's going to work for you so that's how to work with prompt with click so thank you for watching in case you have any question or contribution you can just put it in the comment section so everybody can benefit and please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed